guess where I am? TV. I'm super excited to be sharing a beauty video with you and I know it's been a long time and my apologies but if you are new to my channel I do videos on beauty, paleo and fitness but I am with one of my dearest friends. The last time I saw her was about 14 years ago and that was on the Gold Coast then she moved to Sydney I saw her five years ago. I was at her wedding, her first wedding in uh, Orange <laughs> County and now I'm finally here at the Vault Skin Lab. Happy is a skin specialist this girl, woman, call her what you want, she's beautiful. We often got taken for sisters. I'm gonna say that, because she's beautiful. She's a wealth of knowledge. She loves skin, you know, and what I just learned at lunch. Um, I'm hoping to share some of that with you. So here she is. Here she is. <laughs> We're uh, reunited, sisters from another mother. <laughs> <laughs> sisters from another mister. Another mister. <laughs> So it's interesting you talk about teenagers and vitamin A yeah. because I have a 16 year old and I, I think we've all, you, you've seen I, I do have a, a video for teenagers, but this is taking it to the next level, especially if they're suffering and a lot of teenagers mm. go through, whether it's just pimples, hormonal, acne, mm. it goes from one to yeah. the One of the biggest things with skin um, with teenagers is it starts with the sebum production because it's the hormones, extra added testosterone, estrogen, progesterone, um, those are elevated, which then um, triggers our um, sebum glands, which is our oil glands. And what happens, they are not used to having that extra oil on their skin. And that deposits on the skin in the pores, and then it attracts any bacteria. So if they're on the school bus or in the car or on the school desk, like and, and then they, they touch like their that. face, and then you get home, you go, honey, you go have a shower and wash your skin. Mm. And they go, yeah, yeah, yeah. But often that's all it takes and it can take a build up of um, dead skin cells because then the skin cells start to build up and they're not shedding off. Mm -hmm. So then you're getting trapped oil, debris, bacterial growth, cleansing or not cleansing at all, or a really basic cleanser. It's not breaking the sebum down and killing the bacteria off quick enough. So suddenly they get this overflow of bacteria and that's what creates pustules and papules and then so what would you recommend so salicylic to... acid is an ingredient that we often lean towards because it breaks that oil down quicker than they can produce it um it also dissolves it down usually they couple that in a lot of brands with tea tree oil um mm -hmm. so tea tree kills bacteria the salicylic acid is the acid that will go the mid surface of level the salicylic really goes into that pore and breaks down um oils so, but where does the vitamin A play in this for a teenager? Absolutely. So a lot of sophisticated skincare companies have obviously done a lot of research, um, even like with Environ, they've got books, books on this sort of stuff, vitamin A. And what vitamin A does, it starts to balance out oil flow. And that's what's the cause of acne okay. because you've got too much sebum, too much oil. So it helps to regulate the oil flow. So if you ever get any children that are being prescribed to go on Roaccutane, which we as mothers go, Ooh. it's kind of what we call in our industry, the last step. Yes. You really try and trick the skin with um, peels to, and what the peels are basically doing is stripping um, layers and layers of skin off to, you know, the dead layers and trapped bacteria that's under to try and lift any of that scarring and infection out of the skin. Um, Roaccutane is kind of our last resort, but it really does stop, literally cuts off the oil supply because they're taking it orally. And so they get very dry eyeballs, they get dry mouth, they mm. get dry everywhere. Mm. Um, but it can be even lifelong where that sebum gland is kind of shutting down. So you you tend to have a very drier skin type, um, even issues with the skin long-term. It can actually even wreak havoc on their emotionally, um, you know, they can even go through depression from it. Like if you pulled out the, the list of things that can be, it's actually quite a scary drug to put on. Yes. But it is that end result of like, it will clear it up quickly. And and that's 
for um, you know young people that suffer from severe yeah. severe Cystic, acne. Pustule yeah. Yeah. It's not something obviously we're recommending at mm. all. So salicylic acid, vitamin A, vitamin A. One of the other in things that I always talk about as well, because a lot of the time when we talk about acne skin, it's always about stripping and you know removing oil, which means we're also removing the good oils and we're also removing the the water as well that's like sort of taking the good and the bad which is a bit of a pity because then the skin gets super dehydrated and super lipid deficient because it's producing a lot of oil so one of the basic things i always tell mums or even um, my younger clients i say look you need to make sure you're cleansing the skin but also hydrating the skin so you're adding your moisturizer so they couple together so if they are you know stripping and cleansing a lot of them go i don't want to put any moisturizer or because I'm already so oily, but they don't realize it's adding the moisture. So our barrier of our skin, which is our acid mantle, is made up of water, oil, and good bacteria and bad bacteria. It's a balance. And we're always trying to create homeostasis. Our bodies are trying to find equilibrium balance. So what the sebum glands will then do, if you strip it all away, it goes, they're really dry up there. It's really needing a supply of something. So it starts shooting up the oil. So you see this cycle start happening because if they're not moisturizing, the body senses that there's an inefficiency or an imbalance of not enough water, not enough oil, because you've stripped it all away. So we need to make sure we put that back on. Environ has a particular product and not that I'm backing Environ, that it can be other products, but Funnily enough, it's an oil that we put on their skin and it's a mixture of vitamin A oil. And what it does, that oil puts this protective barrier. So the skin will actually start slowing down oil production because of the vitamin A. But it's a very sophisticated, clever system. I mean, I've helped lots and lots of clients. And not that it has to be that brand. There's a lot of sophisticated brands that use vitamin A in their range. But it's also good for anti-age. <laughs> Depending on the severity of acne, like if we're talking, you know, a few bumps and a, a bit of redness, maybe a bit of... Um, so when they get blackheads on the nose area, that's just um, solidified um, oil that's just oxidized. Um, so the oil's pumping out and it oxidizes and then it turns into little blackheads. Mm -hmm. So that's the start of, that. there's obviously a little bit more sebum, a little bit more oil flow than normal. So I usually get them onto what we call a Cebu wash, um, which has got a combination of salicylic acid and tea tree. It smells very tea tree. It's a foamy cleanser. It's super easy. Right. And they cleanse with that morning and night. Now, from what age? Look, that can vary these days because people are going through hormonal changes sometimes a lot sooner. It could even be as early as 12. So if they have uh, got their period, they're good to use Typically, it? yes. Um, okay. You'll find also with the boys, the testosterone causes huge issues because that oil, that testosterone. I forgot about you boys. So. <laughs> <laughs> Those who have boys out there, right. um, young boys, um, because they have the testosterone, which again elevates the sebum and it's very sticky. Um, this is an amazing product. Um, like I said, again, it doesn't need to be Environ. This one just, you can look yep. for key ingredients, which is your salicylic and your tea tree, which is fabulous. They've got this sophisticated system that these actually have to be put together, but they couldn't actually create one product because they would have de degraded in. So they've done them as a, so you put a few drops of one, a few drops of the other, mix it in your hand and then apply it. But as you'll be noticed that it says Cebu A-C-E. So it's A, vitamin A, C and E. Mm -hmm. Vitamin C is amazing for healing, scarring, um, lightening any pigment. And usually if they get pimples, it usually leaves little marks. Um, and the vitamin A, great for reducing oil flow and E is they all work together. Mm -hmm. Usually you can't absorb vitamin C without vitamin E. So they kind of, and vitamin A, in, so together they usually you'll see a combination of a c and e is usually combined together okay, and the sebulac so sebulac was a it's got an alpha hydroxy acid which helps absorption normally a skin turnover is about 30 days but we can increase cell turnover by using alpha hydroxy acid so they then speed up cell renewal so i have a 16 year old and mm -hmm. i have a 12 year old uh but let's say you have a 12 13 year old doesn't have acne, but starting mm -hmm. to get little pimples. Great question. Yeah, little pimples, little breakouts. Can I put, or would you put them on that system? Again, it's usually best to have a consultation because you want to have a look at that skin. You may say, because they are quite advanced and any of your acids are going to strip the skin, you don't want to overstrip the skin either because their skin's functioning. If it's functioning normally and it just needs a good deep cleanse, you might do it of an evening. 
after they've played sport, you might use lean towards an active, what we call an active cleanser. Mm -hmm. But then you have like a gentle cleanser that you use in the morning yes. or yes. that they might use the other days. Um, because we don't want, even though they're amazing ingredients, but for a delicate skin that's not overproducing oil, you don't want to strip it too much either. I'm always like, and I say, I call these tools in, tools in your closet. You know, mm -hmm. you, you pull your tools out when you need them. And I pull my dresses <laughs> out. <laughs> tools in the closet. I've got a 14-year-old, so she has immaculately beautiful skin. She just got her little girly things. So mm -hmm. that starts to produce a bit more oil. So you'll start to notice a little bit of the blackheads. This is ideal where they get the one off little pimple, you know, it's starting, this is their either gel cleanser or they've got a milk cleanser. I always recommend as a teenager to recommend them to wipe it over with a face washer anyway. Yes. Because it really sort of breaks, removes, removes dead skin cells and helps to just give them that deeper cleanse. So from even age 12, we can introduce vitamin A. Vitamin A is amazing because the earlier you introduce, it's gonna start regulating that that um, oil flow. And we don't put a moisturizer on top of that, that is it. That's it, that's their moisturizer. That's caboodle, that's like, do stuff. I'm so excited to, I'm um, taking all this home <laughs> to my teenagers. <laughs> As you know that you can get all these products from Peach on the Hill too yes. in London. But also there's this little wondrous tool, oh. which is called the Alpha Toner. This little guy is what we call the pimple zapper. So even for as young as 10, 11, 12, amazing for pigmentation, amazing for um, tightening pores, but it's just fabulous. You can put it on a little cotton round and just wipe over those areas that have a little bit more oil flow. So, you, but you would go cleanse, tone, and then mix those two together? Mm -hmm. And they don't have to do this every day. Yeah. It would just be if they got a little spot. For yeah. those 11, 12, 13 would year you olds. What you call it? The pimple zapper. The pimple zapper, yeah. The, the pimple zapper. <laughs> so great for the mother and daughters. The mothers can own it. They use it daily, morning and night for anti-aging. Super fabulous for anti-aging. <gasps> for me too. Absolutely amazing for anti-aging. So this okay. is this helps. Um, There's so much information. Can you understand? <laughs> Do you understand like at lunch? I just didn't want to. So I'm like, I need to record this. I need to record all of this. So oh. glycolic acid, it's the bonds that holds the cells together. So it's a little Pac-Man. If you think yeah, of it, yeah. like little Pac-Man. <laughs> and then you'll get absorption of your products better. Okay. Thank you so much. My beautiful, beautiful friend. <laughs> this is, of course, the Vault Skin Lab. If you've enjoyed this beauty video, don't forget to give me the thumbs up. And don't forget to click on the notification bell wherever that's going to come up. And please subscribe so you can see lots of other videos on beauty and paleo and fitness. And uh, remember, if you're yeah. in Australia... Who looks that hot after a facial? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if you're in Australia, it's about Skin Lab. You must come here for a facial. Blah, 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 blah. Hello, hello. Hello, goodbye. Hello, hello, that's my husband. Hello.